customer here. Here we go. All right. All right, everyone, let's get our feet, or our feet shoulder width apart here. And let's come into that squat, bring those hands into the center and let's start getting warmed up here, everyone. Good, pushing those hips back here. Move your arms, move your legs, that's the most important. Keep that breathe in, now. Keep up the good work here. Let's warm up that body. Last three, two, and one. All right, let's step it back. Let's get into a reverse lunge. Pushing those hips back, still swinging those arms. So again, find that space here. Step back, nice long length into those legs. Hands above your head. Let's get that blood flowing here. Good job, everyone. All right, a couple more on each leg here. Be nice and tall. Last one on each leg. All right, and hold it here. Take your right foot up. Push your hips back, hands up to shoulder height. Big movements on these ones here. Let's get the stretch into those hamstrings. Keep up the good work, everyone. And breathe. Excellent job. Keep pushing those hips back. Three, two, one. Switch on to your left side here. Foot is up. And those hips still going back. Hands still up to shoulder height. Just get that heart rate up. Good job. Keep moving. Woo. We got this, guys. Three, two, one. Excellent. March it out. Let's get low impact jumping jacks. So again, now we get some more arms over our head, tapping our feet side to side. Good, work on your own pace here. Again, we can a little bit get into those hips and rotate a little bit. Excellent job. Keep it up. Now we're gonna we have 
jump. Other hands come over. All right, bring those hands back now. Swinging them back, big movements here. Still moving those feet. Good, last movement is your bicycle crunches. As you're familiar with them, as you come on the ground, tap behind your ears, elbow to opposite knee, or you're gonna be in a V position. Do that same thing, bicycle crunches at a different level. All right, everyone, swing those arms, tap your feet, and let's get started. Grab your weight so you can have a heavier weight for this one. So we're gonna have one single weight. We're gonna do a shoulder swing with an overhead swing. All right, let's get this started, you guys. I'm gonna get that timer. Grab your weight, and three, two, one, here we go. Show right up to shoulder height, and then overhead. All right, up to shoulder height, overhead. So now we're getting our shoulders, and then we get the core as it breathes over your head. Good, bring it up, and swing. Get into that squat, so we got a full body one here. Woo, right up to shoulder height, and then over your head. Again, if it's not good for you to bring it over your head, just stick with just right up to your shoulders. Do one or the other that works best for you. Just keep moving, core is tight. Woo, and time everyone. All right, grab a different weight if you would like to use or no weight for those jumping jacks. Hands over your head, side to side with your feet. Here we go, low impact at first. Feet tap, side to side, hands over your head. Or high impact, bring that hand over your head. Again, you can have weight or no weight. Keep it up. You got it, good. Breathe. Choose what level works best for you. Keep up the good work. Woo, keep it up. Five seconds left, you got this. Excellent choices out there. All right, put your weight down. Come on down for your bicycle crunches. All right, coming on to your back. Knees up, hands behind. Opposite elbow to knee, to one side, to the other. Good, side to side. Breathe. Keep up the good work, or you've got level two in that V position, same thing, opposite elbow to knee. Just adding a different position here, still things, still the same as you're going to one side, to the other. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Three, two, one, come on up. This is our second round, we have three rounds of each one in each circuit. All right, grab your weight or no weight for your swings. Get into it, bring those feet shoulder width apart. Here we go. Shoulder height, overhead. Keep it up, shoulder height. And nice and tight as you come overhead. Good, tight. Overhead. Swing up to shoulder height. Swing up, good. You wanna be nice and tall. Woo, chin is up. Make sure you're pushing those hips back. Avoid anything coming forward. Here's keeping nice and tight. Woo, keep changing positions. Overhead and time. Excellent job with those. All right, again, no weight or weight for your jumping jacks. Keep moving. Again, level one here. Hands over your head. Tap those feet. Now you can pick up your pace without any jumping. You got this, good. Choose normal jumping jacks if you like, or keep with the hands over your head, or choose and not jump in. Woo! Good, good, good. Remember, listen to your body. Do what works best for you. This is your workout, everyone. Breathe throughout. 
over your head. Press those hips back. Good. Yes, nice hip toe. And you pull as you bring it over your head. Feel that in the shoulders. Feel it overhead and you're getting those, that core. Still getting those legs at the same time. Whew, press with the heels. Get a good pace. Got five seconds left in this one. So close. Good, in time. Okay, jumping jacks. Keep moving throughout it again. Low impact, hands over your head. Feet are always moving. Here we go. 40 seconds left with this one. Choose your paces. You're tapping at first with low impact. No jumping. You're just trying to get the heart rate up or you're getting in that high impact now. Adding that jumping, adding the weight if you like. Making sure you're still breathing in and out, getting that oxygen. 10 seconds. Go, 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 everyone. Woo! Excellent effort out there. Very good. Stop with those bicycle crunches. All right, hands behind your ears. Here we go. To the opposite elbow to knee. We're getting those obliques, but also getting the upper abdominal too. As that back is slightly lift off that mat. Just think of being tight. Keeping that back flat onto that mat. Trying to bring those legs away from the body as you put to one side to the other. Keep that rotation. Five seconds left here. And you are done, good. Can you grab some water here? And we're gonna move on to our next circuit. Make sure you keep on moving. As I am showing you the next movements, make sure you move your arms, make sure you move your legs. Don't let your body know that you're resting. Okay, so again, you don't need weights for these, but we're just changing a little bit of the arm direction so your wrists are facing each other. You're standing, but this time you're going straight forward and you're punching. You get a little bit of a rotation again in those obliques, and you're just punch, 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 punch. You can add a weight if you like in those ones here. Then, you know who it is for these are your favorite. You got your frog jumps. So again, your feet slightly come outward. You're coming down. You're raising your hands or you are jumping it. Gain some more powerful movement here. All right. And then we've got our lovely planks here that we're going to go into up, up, down, down. Get some arms too. So again, you're going to stay on your plank position. Knees are back, back, hands are down. And we're doing it up and up. And then you're going back down. Try not to twist those hips and knees are up if you like. All right, remember, I'll be with you with all these here. So let's get started. And let's start off with those punches. So make sure your wrists are facing each other. Hands are up to shoulder height the whole time. Okay, here we go in three, two, and one. All right. So we're rotating, wrists are facing each other. In, out, in, out. This is slight rotation to one side, to the other. Punch, 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 punch. We're pushing away from the body. Woo! Getting those arms. Should start feeling it in those biceps even too, as you're squeezing those weights. Feeling that core, upper body. 
when you touch the ground, breathing it up and down. Get those legs. And just think about that frog. Jumping up and down. Or getting that nice long stretch and down. Getting those squats. Five seconds here. Down and up. You got this. Woo! Good. All right. Let's come on down. Let's get into those planks. Arms down. Okay, let's go up, up, go down, and down. Again, raise it up, up. Switch your arms, go down, and down. So we get our arms, you should be trying to feel this in the tricep. You switch those arms down and down, up and up. Remember, your knees can always be up too. Just watch your hips. Think about your arm, up, up, down, down. Then you can start changing your paces here. Whoo, strong. Good, just keep trying to keep that core as tight as you can. Woo! All right, shake those arms up. We are back at those punches, everyone. Shake, shake, shake. Move, move, move. Remember, weights or no weights for these punches. Stand nice and tall. Here we go. Wrists facing each other. Punch straight out. Slight rotations to one side, to the other. Swing and work that core at the same time. We're trying to keep those hands up to shoulder height. In, out, in, out. Punch, punch. Go, 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 go. Feeling the alarms. Get those punches. Choose your patience. Breathe, breathe, breathe. You can do this. Five seconds left. Oh, you're feeling that burn. Punch. Yeah. Woohoo. All right. We're still back in it, though, with those jump squats. Or frog jump, sorry, I should say. All right. Bring those legs a little bit wider apart. Let's come down. Here we go. Down and up. Choose your levels. Breathe. Keep it up. You got it. Push those hips back. Try to reach for that ceiling. Come down low. Or choose your power with that jumping. 10 seconds left in this one. Catching your breath, breathing, and time, yes. Okay, come on down. Again, if the arms are too much for that plank, just stay in a plank. My main focus is just getting your core. So make sure those knees are walked back. Get that extension. Here we go. Bring it up, up, down, and down. Switch those arms, bringing it up. Up, down, down. You choose your paces now. Keep up the good work. Remember, it's all about being nice and tight. You're thinking about always squeezing, pressing down into that floor. Press, press as you're coming up. And then hold. Good, very good. Keep switching those arms. Excellent. Last one through this one. This one's a killer. Catch your breath here for a few seconds. Swing those arms, grab your weight. Last one's for punching. Okay, let's stand tall and let's go for it. Punch it. Wrists are facing each other. You're going in and out. Doing a slight rotation. Getting those obliques. Then we're getting most of that shoulders, biceps. Punch, punch, punch. Pushing that weight or hands away from the body. Nice and strong, you're nice and tall. Your chin is up. We've got power punches. One and the other, go, go, go. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes. All right. Okay, last for our frog 
jumps. So here we go. Legs a little bit wider. Coming down at first, reaching up. Let's go for it. Give all you can in this one here. Remember, you do not have to jump. You can still get those legs. You can still get that heart rate out with coming down and up. Here's that jumping. Gain that power. Keep listening to your body. Go ahead, get that all tuned it in. Do what you can. Five seconds left here. Yes, yes, yes. And you are done those ones. Last one in place with your ups. Come down slowly. Keep catching your breath through your short break. And three, two, and one. Here we go. Up, up, down, down. Keep switching your hands up. Up, down, down, or switching those knees up. Keep thinking about your core. And then all your arms, keeping it nice and tight as you're going down and up. Focus, focus, focus. Watch your arms in these ones here. You got this. Three, two, one. Yes. You didn't do that one. That was a tough one, you guys. Good job. Grab some water. Move those arms. Move those legs, everyone. Okay, so we've got is we've got a reverse lunge. You can choose to have weights or no weights, but we're gonna add some bicep curls with it too. You're gonna step back, curl it, come back to the center, switch your legs, curl, and bring it back. So we have those combinations with your reverse lunges. Okay, so this one here we got imaginary called the ghost rope. So again, if you just want to tap your feet, get your heart rate up, or we get our arms, and then we start circling it, or you can just bounce down and up. You choose how you do your skipping rope, but that is called that ghost rope here. Then we've got is our heel taps. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come on down. I want you to tap your heels. So you're straight down, and then you're gonna come and tap that heel, rotate over the other side, tap it, and have that back slightly upwards so you work those upper abdominals at the same time. All right, you guys, here's our next three exercises. Let's do this. Get into reverse lunges. Add some light to medium weights for your bicep curls. Here we go. All right, make sure you have that space here. And three, two, and one. Let's go for it. Step it back and curl it. Five is five, have those wrists facing each other and then curl those wrists out and look forward. Find your balance, nice and tight in these ones. This one so you can focus. Save that endurance, save that energy for that rope. Squeeze those weights, get your strength in this. Push those hips back, get that length into those legs. Find your balance. Press with those heels as to come up. Press and squeeze, good. All right. Okay, so we've got that ghost rope. So I'm starting off with my arms. I actually like to start tapping my feet at first. That's gonna be my start of my skipping rope. All right, circle those arms, tap those feet. Or you can start jumping now, tapping it. Or let's skip, down and up. Good, so you want that imaginary rope in your hands and you're going down and up or you're tapping your feet or are you moving your hips? However you do it with a skipping rope or again, low impact. You don't have to jump. I want you to get your heart rate up. I want you to tap your feet. I want you to move your arms. So get your heart rate up here. 
You got this. Excellent. Great job. You're still moving those arms and those legs. All right, let's come down heel taps. So our back is slightly upwards from that mat. Our hands are going to touch that heel if we can. And we're reaching towards that heel and going to the other side. Those knees are bent to 90 degrees. Core is nice and tight. Think that pushing that belly button down towards that floor or mat. We need a nice and tight, tight, tight. Or have the pelvic tilt. We're learning how to really contract that core here as we're rotating to one side, to the other. Good, strong. Five seconds left in these ones here. Excellent, all right, let's slowly come back up. All right, we have our reverse lunges again. So light to medium weights if you have them. Reverse lunges, find your balance, keep on moving. Here we go, flip step back, curl, and step it back forward, good. Very strong again, find your balance, push those hips back. Avoid having those knees coming forward. Squeeze your waist. Keep nice and strong. Press up. Strong. Press with those heels. Try to avoid too much of swinging of the arms. Nice and controlled. Woo. <laughs> Find that balance. Core is very tight. Yeah, very good. Okay, call my ghost rope. Get my arms moving up first. Thinking about that skipping rope. Moving my feet. Keep up the good work. Here we go. Starting to get the heart rate up. Again, moving my arms. Or tapping my feet. Or I'm jumping. You choose. Anyway, that gets your heart rate up. Think about circling those arms. Keep thinking that you got that rope into your hands. Good job. Keep it up. Keep moving those legs. Keep moving those arms. Woo! Ten seconds left here. Looking good. We got different ways we want to move those legs. Yes. All right. Heel taps, everyone. Slowly come down. Knees are bent, pelvic tilt, so you're tilting it in. And keeping that back nice and flat. Here we go. You're up, and then you're tapping that heel. Getting that upper abdominals, and still we're getting those oblique as we are trying to rotate, tapping to one side of that heel to the other side. Again, you can choose your pace here. The slower you go, hopefully the more we are contracting and keeping tight. Good. 10 seconds left in this one here. Keep focused. Very good. All right, come on up. Last round for this circuit here. Reverse lunges with our curls. Nice and tall. Squeeze your weights. Core tight. Here we go. Reverse lunges with your curls. Stay focused. Stay strong and press and squeeze. Keep pushing those hips back. Yes, good. Press with those heels. I want to concentrate on the strength in this one here. Feeling those legs, feeling those arms. Focus on our balance. Looking good and time. Okay, back to your ghost rope. Still moving. Still arms moving. Feet are moving, taking that rope to your head, and here you go. You're picking up your pace, or you're hopping, or you're jumping. 
good. This is where you can give it all you can here, you guys. This is your chance to get that heart rate up, get that cardiovascular, getting that heart stronger here. Again, fill this in your body. What works best for you? 10 seconds, go, 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 go. You got this, yes. Choose the different ways of moving those legs. Go, woo, excellent. We are done with those ones. Last heel taps here. Come on down. All right, here we go. Let's tap those heels. Again, have that pelvic tilt, have that back nice and flat on that floor. And then you're slightly upward, seeking you your upper abdominals. Try to slide to one side, to the other. Good. Woo. Keep it up. To one side, to the other. Tight, 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 tight. Five seconds left here. Breathe. There we go. Excellent job. All right. So the end, we're going to save it for a little bit of power here. So as you are still moving, as I showed the last three movements, you're going to end up doing your Superman. So we're going to end up being on all fours to start off with. So you're on your all fours and you can choose to go opposite arm and leg, trying to keep those hips in line and then bring it back and switch to the other side, arching that lower back. You're coming down onto your stomach, arms extended, legs extended, arching that back and coming down. Okay, second movement. Let's get a little bit of power in our chest. This time we're gonna do some chest presses with our glutes and getting our bridges. So you're gonna have weights in this center, wrist facing outwards. Let's do some chest presses. And then if you're ready, let's do some bridges, lifting those hips up and down at the same time. So let's add some weights for those ones. And your very last one is that we're gonna go into an overhead crunch. So you're gonna grab a weight. You're gonna have those legs extended first, arms extended. You're gonna bring slightly that arm over your head and then bring it up towards that feet. Or if you want, you can bring those feet away as you bring those arms away from the body. So we've got lots of choices for this. Again, I'm gonna be with you for all three of them. All right, let's keep on moving. This is our last circuit, everyone. Let's keep moving. Okay, so we are on the floor the entire time this time. All right, let's go into our supermans here. At three, two, one, here we go, all fours. If you like to start off with, we're getting that lower back arching in. Good, reach, coming down and up. If you're on your stomach, you can get your upper back, make a W and then come back down. Reach those arms up, 
Okay, turn it around. Let's go back into Superman. Remember, we can start off. Make sure your weights are still on the side for your presses. All right, Superman, here we go. Our opposite arm and leg first, all fours. Good. Extend. Or come on to that stomach. Bring those arms and legs up. Count it up. Breathe. Or press it back into that W. Getting those upper back now and lower back. Squeezing. Arching, you got it. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Nice and strong, everyone. Feel those abdominals too. Good. All right. Turn it on to your back. Remember, at any time, if you're not comfortable with presses, with weights, you can always go into push ups. Oh, yes, we all love push ups. All right. Grab your weights. Okay. Out of bridge position. Bring out your arms nice and wide, wrist facing each other, press down and up. Woo! Choose your pace. Get some reps in here. Out wide, press out wide, press. Good, open up that chest. Let's squeeze those glutes down, center, down, up. Woo! Let's go, power. Down and up, let's go. Keep up the good work. Squeeze. Tight. Core is tight too, you guys. Good. And time. All right, we've got overhead crunches. Again, those feet are up. Or slightly bend those knees. Hands are lined up with your shoulders. You can choose to come overhead and then bring it up and then a crunch. If you prefer just to stay, in a crunch with straight arms, please do. Or you want a little bit more challenge, bringing those legs away as those arms come over your head. But we are trying to target more of the upper abdominal. But if you want to get your lower abdominals, try to do those leg races. Woo! Time. Do what's best for you, what challenges you, where you can feel it the most. Tie. We're just trying to get those crunches, everyone. Tie, 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 tie. Woo! Excellent job. One more round. This is it. Turn it around. Here we go with Superman. Here, switching opposite arm and leg, or come on your stomach. Arch that back. You got this. Woo! Nice and strong. Woo! Tight. Try to get that upper back too if you like. Getting that lower back. Getting that abdominal outward work. Standing up. Good. Strong. Breathe. Almost there, you guys. Good job. And time. All right, flip it onto your back. Last one with your chest presses. Grab those weights. Bring those hips up. Wrist facing outwards for your presses. Here we go. Out nice and wide. And then center and drop your hip. Up, down, up. Let's get some power. And let's get some repetitions here. Get your glutes. Get that chest down, up, squeeze, tight. Woohoo! Open it up nice and wide. Still trying to get that heart rate up if you have heavier weights. Woo! Press. Power. Squeeze everything, you guys. You got it. Woohoo! And time. Good. Last one to go with your crunches. This is it. Legs extended, arms nice and straight here. Bring it behind your head. Here we go, last 40 seconds, everyone. And then bring it up and crunch it. Overhead, and then crunch. Anytime, if you wanna just stay up here and focus on that upper abdominals, please do lots of choices. You want to work your lower abdominals? Then bring those legs away from the body. Make it even 
harder. See that works best for you. Get that long extension. Get that upper abdominal. Make it tight. This is your last movement here. We only got five seconds left. Strong, 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 everyone. And that is it. Good job. I want you to come on up. And let's stretch this out, everyone. Whew. All right, since we kind of just worked that chest and everything, and arms, I want you to bring it behind. Bring those hands behind. Roll those shoulders back. Breathe. Really open up your chest. You can roll those shoulders back. Get that nice long extension in those arms. All right, let's bring those hands over our head. Again, we're getting that nice long extension into those arms. Then we get that nice pull through those abdominals. And then we've got our lats and those obliques we work, so we want to go to the side. And then switch to the other. Then we got a little bit of our triceps, so let's just grab onto our right elbow, holding it here, keep nice and tall. Then we switch to the other side on that left elbow. Good, and then slowly release it. We've got those shoulders again. Bring it across your chest or grab it at that wrist and then pull it towards or away from the body so you get a little bit more in that delts and rear delts. Good, and then switch it to the other side. Get it close to the chest and then pulling it away from the body slightly. That's good. Breathe in, breathe out, really try to get that heart rate down. All right, slowly release it here. For those legs, for that balance here, I want you to grab on to your um, right ankle. I want you to bend your knee and keep in line with your hip. Still breathe in and out. All right, and then switch to the other side. Keep focused. And then release. All right, we did glutes too and hamstrings. So I want you to find your balance again, but you're gonna take that right foot over your left knee. You're gonna come as low as you can here and bend that knee. And let's feel it through your glutes and feel it through the hamstrings. Again, you can find your balance holding it here or hold onto that wall. We really want to feel it in the glutes as we did all those bridges and lunges and squats. Finding our balance. Good, and then release it slowly. Okay, let's switch on to the other side. Again, find your balance. Come down slowly and feel that stretch in the glutes, in your hamstrings, in the back there. Focus on your balance. Good, and then releasing it. And then last stretch for those hamstrings, you're bringing your right foot up, just like our warm up, but we're staying here, holding on the opposite leg, or sliding our hands down as far as we can towards that ankle, or bring that foot towards you. You're leaning forward, you're feeling now the long stretch into those hamstrings, holding it here. Again, we still did a lot of legs, so I still wanna get some good stretches here. Still concentrate on that breathing. All right, switch to your left. That foot is up, push your hips back or slide your hand towards that ankle. Feel that last stretch, nice pull here. Okay, and then slowly release. Then come into the center, we're taking that deep breathing. So cross those arms. I want you to come down, take a deep breath in and then out. Bring it up. And down, two more to go, bring it up, and down, last one, bring it up, bring your hands down, and you are all finished. Thank you so much, everyone.